Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as always, I appreciate you being here. It's your boy, Radicus Prime, a.k.a. the man who taught Skynet everything it knows. Well, everything except for that world domination stuff. It gets that from its mother. Um, we're here to check out a game called Main Assembly. It's an early access title just released on Steam, published by Team 17, developer Bad Yoke Games. So if that's something that might interest you, go ahead and catch me on the other side. <laughs> See you there. The main assembly is sort of a, a, a build game, kind of like Kerbal Space Program. You can build robots with this revolutionary freeform crafting tools and control them through powerful visual programming. And you can do this to overcome challenges, play with your friends in multiplayer, and it has advanced physics, aerodynamics, and even robot destruction. And the things you can get into, it just, just really looks amazing. I'm having a blast with this game. I love the art style, it's beautiful, the UI is very clean and very intuitive. And as you all know, I hate not intuitive things. So let's go ahead and take a look at the options as I always like to do, so you know what you get into when you get this game. Now the game has controller support as well as mouse and keyboard. I'll be using mouse and keyboard. And as you see here, you can do the cameras, you can do the languages. As every language you, every major language you want to think of, and even some minor ones, okay. Resolution, there, blur is off, volumes. And you can do some key binds if you really, really want, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep everything at default. All right, so we're going to go in, pop and play. Now, it has a tutorial that I've already beaten, and you do all these. And once you've done all 34 of the uh, challenges, so to speak, then you get like a little diploma and stuff. And it just teaches you the basics of building. All right, then you have challenges you can get into, and the challenges unlock parts that you can use in game. But here's the really fun part it has sandbox. Sandbox mode, like Curl Space Program, everything. Oh, and this game is kind of like Scrap Mechanic and Kerbal Space Program all mixed together in a nice little unique way. And you can unlock everything in Sandbox mode so you can play with it, but then you play the regular Challenge mode to unlock everything. And you get things to unlock to put in your little AI drone robot self. All right, then you have these different areas. Now, I like to build in Flatland because there's no distractions, but you can also build in Gnarl Land and go around and see the area. Let's do one quick thing in Flatland, and then we'll go there. So, all right, so Flatland looks uh, flat. Okay, it looks like a production facility. There's me right there. My little uh, cap and tassel means I graduated. Santa Claus bell on my diploma. All right, so let's see what we can build. All right, so what we've built before is this rocket here that's not very uh, safe. It's not safe at all. All right, but... You know, I don't want to show you the pitiful little devices that I've tried to make. Let's go ahead and see. This game supports Steam Workshop, and you can download amazing things that other people have done. Like, look at this. Let's let's look at this car here, this Senkai, and just be, be in awe of it and cry because I can't do this myself. All right, so you 3D print it, and then you get inside. You're docking with the car, and you just go. Look at that. Look at that. And you hit spacebar, the brakes turn on, right? Back up, spacebar, brakes again. You can change the colors to different colors. It'll be add more colors later, I think. All right, so that's that's awesome. All right, so let's do this. So now you're thinking, that's cool. I built a car. What's the big deal? You know, the modeling probably takes forever. Now here's where the amazing things come in. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy here. Now you have here the self-correcting hovercraft. All right. You come here, it's on the ground, right? You're moving forward, you're moving. Oh, starting to get out of control. Then you settle back down, boom, auto corrects. And this is all done through the coding. It, it's a visual coding, kind of like the plug and play visual thing Google used to do back in the day, but better because it's not like a puzzle. It's just, it looks sort of like a subway train layout type thing. So let's take a look instead of me trying to explain it. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead. No, see, that's just. And you can literally do, hey, if there's thrusters here, thrusters there, multiply by this, back left, th back left jet, so it can auto correct itself. And there's input outputs, math, more math, sign, rounding, clamping, miscellaneous, wow, oh, state, logic. You can do logic switches, trigonometry, 
parts. Look at that. Proximity sensor, so the text is about to... Just, there's just so much you could do with this. And this is just a small example. All right, so we're going to come out of this. Let's go to the other place. And then the last thing that you, the last object you interacted with, I like it. It puts it in the background here, but that's really cool. I'm really digging that, all right? So let's go here, play. We're going to go back to sandbox mode, put on Gnarl Land, and let's click Blue Torp Raceway. Go down here. And then you can build cars and things where you could do, you can race. And then if you come here and you're floating around your little drone and you think, man, I want to go somewhere else on this big, huge island. There's actually portals placed near every area. So now you're thinking it's going to be slow. Whoop, right there. Now, the reason I want to show you this is this is cool. One, it reminds me of the old Unreal Tournament little portals you could do. And you could set them up using the Unreal Engine, like Half-Life. Or two, imagine you building a bigger this. Imagine if they... I'm not sure because I haven't gotten that deep into the game. Imagine if you could code something like this. You can literally make your own game inside a game. You and your friends do challenges, do like a, I don't know, scavenger hunt and have those placed there. So you know what, let's go here. Let's let's see around the mountain. Let's see what we can do. And this game supports Steam Workshop. So it's fun because you can load new objects from Steam. Because, you know, I didn't build this. I don't have that much talent. Or experience I won't say tell I won't have that much experience just yet but you could take someone else's stuff and you could say you know what I'm gonna use it now something else I didn't see coming but you don't see in another sandbox is that it, it has asymmetrical and symmetrical mirrored building you can turn symmetrical on by default and to me that's like a victory on its own and it's just really fun and engaging I mean there's things you could do things you could test out this car Although I'm driving it horribly right now out of control. This car you think is big? This car is actually tiny. Your drone is literally, if you were to put real world size to it, like if I use any of the bigger parts, you'll see that this drone is literally the size of your hand. And the world is just built so you can actually, oh look at this. This is like, this is like Ridge, Ridge, Ridge Racer or, or, um, ow, hey that hurt. Or what's that game? Cars 2. Or any other game that has a racing game. They all have those. Those little tunnels. Oh, what is this? I found a cheat. We're going to do our own Mario Kart. Oh, and then if you ever get stuck in the game too, you can always take your little drone out. You can de-dock the drone. Get the car, place it back. Redock your drone back in. And there's logic you can apply to everything you make. So I'm really, I'm just really digging the game. Like I said, I love the art style. The music's there. It's kind of relaxing. You can save and you can go as you go along. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to be the future of this game. They have a pretty aggressive roadmap for things that they want to do. And even the simple things, like I'm willing to bet. Let's take a look at this. Yes. See, I'm willing to bet even this car. Because when you press on the space bar, the brake lights turn on. Drive, drive, motor, brake, and then I think by default the lights turn on. Nope, there it is. Look at this. Or, like axis, red light for the brake lights, boost, everything. This is speed. What is this? Oh, so it actually goes up at a certain. So, can I change this? Oh, let me see if I can change this. Let's see. 70? Okay, I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to do it. I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to do it. So let's see. All right, so I messed that up. Let's 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 get out of here. For and you can go in and play with other people's code. You can see what you need to do. And I'm lost already, and I haven't even been here but two seconds. Go ahead and let's put it on the ground here. Yeah, I barely pressed forward, and it's going. This thing is moving now. Look at that. Yeah, this is not. But again, this game is just, I mean, you can redo all your actions. You can control X to undo and control F to redo or control Z. And you can clone parts. You can program, rebind actions, and possibly a bunch of other things that I didn't even know you could really do. I mean, it, it, you, won't, you, you won't repeat the same mistakes. You're actually going to be able to learn, and you can undo and redo your coding, and then you can write down what works. You can save bits and pieces. 
and you can even play music there's a speaker function where you can put a speaker on your little craft that you're building and play pre-recorded music and i don't know if it's pre-recorded on your desktop or in game because i haven't played with it yet but this looks really amazing so i just wanted to do a quick first impression first look of this game i highly suggest you give it a try if you're all if you are all into games like like i said scrap mechanic kerbal space program any type of build games where you could do your own thing you got to give it a look you got to give this a try i can't stress it enough so again developer bad joke games awesome game guys publisher team 17 I'm, i feel like i'm a team 17 fanboy the only platform it's on right now is pc i could see this coming to maybe ps4 especially ps5 and i or xbox the new xbox and i i feel like this game is going to be amazing so mark my words if you see this game a year from now and it's all the rage all the badness the new kids are juking and jiving with it i don't know where i get that phrase from i think i heard it on tv once you're gonna say you heard it here first so as always guys it's a short video i appreciate you joining me there's not a lot of story behind this game so i couldn't really dig too deep into it but there are challenges we can do tutorials for those if you want later other than that hey you saw what this game has to offer now get in there and give us something amazing that we can talk about and let me know in the comment section down below if you do. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good time.